hello, it's Brandy Davison here. I'm a design team member with the Wild Hair Kits, and I'm here on the Scrap Story and YouTube channel that I share with myself, my sister, and our bestie um, for all of our scrapbooking pursuits. And today I am super excited to show you a process video using the free December cut file that the Wild Hair Kits has made available. And this is that lovely poinsettia that I showed you. So I will include a link below um, to that free cut file that you can find on our blog. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can see that I cut it as a full poinsettia and then I cut a half because of my intention was for it to kind of drop into the page on one side. And I am using my deluxe um, kit for the December month of December. And this month I asked for a, a kit inspired by white. I am kind of going with a colored theme this year in my design team tenure. Um, and this year, this season um, and month, it was inspired by white. So lots of really great white elements and it's, gonna, it's just, it's an absolutely fabulous kit. So you can kind of see the design I was going for, for there. I've got this four by six photo of me and my sisters at Christmas a few years ago. And my intention with only cutting that one piece of the, the cut file in, in like half is that I was going to have it kind of pop either down the page or up the page. And then, well, of course, you know, it never goes as you thought as you start to lay things out. And so I've kind of changed it a little. And in fact, instead, I'm using the cut files to sort of um, frame the photo, if you will. My original intention was to not back this cut file. I just, there was so much delicate detail that I absolutely loved it and I wanted it to pop. But then when I tried it out on this kind of audition, this red paper that's in my kit, um, and this is a, uh, dun, dun, this is a Heidi Swap um, Wonderland paper. Um, that I just loved how it looked behind that poinsettia. So I did, as you can see, I went ahead and I'm going to back this cut file. So all I do to back a cut file is I just flip it over. So I'm kind of looking at the back of it. I put some glue around the edges of where I want the colored paper to be. And then I flip that glue back down onto the color that I want to see through. And then I kind of roughly cut the paper I'm working with to be a little bit bigger than the area just so I have less to play with. And then I go back in and I fussy cut, literally you just fussy cut. You make it as close to the kind of cut file edge as possible. If you sort of tilt your scissors, you can kind of get just behind so nothing shows. Um, and it's, you know, it looks like a lot of work when you're, when you're back flying a lot, but it's actually super satisfying. It looks so good in the end. So I did off camera here because you don't need to see me glue and cut for an hour. Well, it only took me 25 minutes, but anyway, I'm being dramatic. Um, I did do the same thing, but this time with that full cut file and that same red. I use that same red. It looks so good as a poinsettia. And then what I'm doing there is that the, I don't know what you would call it, but the center of the leaves has like those pokey outy things I'm not sure kind of the seam of the, of the leaves and I just kind of worried them with my fingers like kind of pulled along them not too roughly so they sort of got a little bit of dimension and popped off a little I didn't glue that part down I only glued around the outside which I really like and then as I was playing there I realized there was kind of holly berries if you will not kind of there is holly berries on the cut file and I decided to also back those in red in the same red that I had there um, that did take me a while cause that's such a small space, but I think it, well, you can't really see it this angle when we get to the, I have some stills at the end. You'll definitely see how good those look. So here I am. I'm just auditioning some other papers from the kit to use as my background paper. I did debate this look kind of making it almost like a diagonal, like a waterfall across the diagonal of the page of all poinsettias, but I was looking for a little bit more pop. I wanted it to be. Um, kind of a bit of a dramatic page. This is like, and that's it. As you can see, you probably thought that as well when you saw it. Um, and so it's just a fabulous picture of me and my sisters. I absolutely love it. And so I really wanted this, this, um, the page to pop. So this is the background that I have picked. Um, and this is a actually from also in my kit from the December deluxe kit that I ordered. This is from Crate Paper and it's the snowflake collection that they have. And this is the icicles um, paper. Um, that's there. And I just love how that looks, that bright red and the classic green. Uh, just, I don't know, there's something about just those classic Christmas colors. So what I'm doing there is that's where my picture and my um, cut files are going to end up. But what I've opened up is the, I got the, also in my kit is the Wonderland um, die cuts from Heidi Swap. Um, and I'm just going through and auditioning different uh, die cuts from, from the kit. You will see that I do keep reaching for 
the phrase stickers that are in the die cuts. I'm such a word person. Um, but I have to remind myself that also included in my kit are these amazing thickers in gold of all these awesome holiday and Christmas sayings. So I have to keep kind of putting back the um, phrase stickers. So I remember that I have other words to be using. So I'm just kind of tucking a little bit. I've got some phrase stickers up at the top of the photo. There's a bit of empty space there where I think it's the fridge behind us at my parents' house. Um, and then down at the bottom, there were some really great vellum pieces in the, the die cuts from Heidi Swap from the Wonderland, Winter Wonderland, sorry. Um, that looked just really cool, but also showed that, that green through. And I like that it's a December calendar. And then I think it one says memories and you'll see that in the stills. And then while I didn't think I would use them, there are a few little kind of winter, I don't know, woodland animals, if you will, in the die cut pack. And I just really liked that deer stag I think it's a stag I don't think it's a reindeer um I don't know it just somehow looks really good down there and kind of anchored those vellum pieces and you know full disclosure disclosure having vellum on the page is really difficult for me to stick down I don't have you know kind of you used to be able to buy those vellum dots I don't have any left in my stash at all and so it's always nice when you can incorporate either staples or sequins or or some kind of you know die cut or washi to hold down the vellum pieces so that you can't see your glue behind so that's ultimately what the deer ends up being as well so i'm done i think with the die cuts i probably come back to them as we all do and we just look to add a few more pieces um, and now i'm looking at those um, thickers so these are from american crafts they are these fabulous gold and like a true gold not that sort of weird bronze look that some of them end up getting um, and they are just there's so many in here like it's two pages of um, everything from kind of bold font to a script font and then as well there's a whole bunch of little um, kind of holly bunches like two leaves and, and three little holly berries in gold as well so my intention originally was to um, name this page la la uh, fa la 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 lovely kind of a play on fa la 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 um, and I really like that word lovely and I just absolutely love this photo um, but you will see here, uh, my off camera, and if I'll, you know, to be honest, the next day, I ended up just going with fa la 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 la. The scripty font that it was in just really matched the um, sort of that look of this poinsettias that are quite feminine and a little bit kind of swirly. And the lovely seemed a little bit too too bold to me for for this particular layout. So what I'm doing here is simply. Um, gluing things down. I did add a poinsettia from the die cuts there on top of the kind of the right bottom of the page and then I do tuck a little bits of um, holly sprig that are also a die cut just at the top of the right there um, of the right there um, on the top just to kind of give it a little look. Um, sorry when I'm gluing I do tend to lean forward and I have to keep reminding myself that my camera is just above me so um, yeah, my messy, my messy bun hair is, yeah, it doesn't look so good on the camera. So I'm just gluing these down. I did include behind these little phrases and I have, and I'm just looking at my page here. I used, um, family and Noel, and then there was a little, like a tag, like almost like a, like a ticket that was in vellum in a green and a red that just says Mary. So it's Mary family, Noel, kind of all the words that capture what this was um, for us as a family. And I, when I've got my stuff stuck down, I'm not very good at getting all the bits back where they should go. And so I often will just use my, um, I use the Scotch quick dry glue in a fine line bottle. And I will just, as you saw there, kind of hold a piece down with one finger and just pop up aside and put the glue down. And then I'll also glue the things down to my, my picture, as you can see. And then I'll pull off kind of the bigger pieces, like in this case is the picture, and use Su Kuang to kind of bring the whole thing down. Because I find when you've got a few strips of Su Kuang behind that, it's going to hold the rest of the um, cut file down that maybe you didn't put glue behind. And of course, I didn't get it in the right spot, because why would I? And I have to say I was very thankful, because usually you can't pull up anything that's got Su Kuang on it. So that was good. And then here are the little holly things. I'm sure there's a name for it when there's like two leaves and the three little holly berries sprigs, maybe. No, that's probably not the word. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at these figuring out the words. Um, and what I've done is I've just kind of put a gold little holly to kind of augment that poinsettia 
um, just around each of the points headers. So you get those little kind of gold pieces on each side. And then I'll go through and meticulously um, glue all this down. I do not glue the whole cut file down. Like I don't worry about, you can see that leaf there with all the stripes on it. I do not worry about getting glue in all the places. I glue the major pieces down and I often will go back and bend up just sort of slightly kind of worrying them with my hand, any of the leaves, especially in a floral cut file. So you get a little bit of dimension. Now I know you lose some of that dimension once it goes in the album, but until that point and when you're taking pictures, it just looks so cool. So, um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay that it goes away eventually when it goes in the album. So I'm just spacing out the fa la 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 and what I do is I kind of lay it out and then I and I cut, I take the thicker's package and then I actually cut out around the word so I've got it on plastic and that's how I'm able to kind of move it around the page and see where it is. Like Crafty Jen Scow does this but she just will take them off and put them on wax paper so that same idea. And then when I've got it straight, I will kind of cut a couple of the letters off so I can put the plastic packaging with the letters back down where I want it. And then I just use the sticky of the two letters to put a couple down at a time, leave those there, cut a couple more off, put them down, that kind of thing. And then I tend to get a either a straight line or well, I'm not usually straight on my layouts. Everything's a little bit tilted, so I don't have to worry, but it gets me at least the, the letters in the same line. So I have gone through... Let me just look here. I've gone through the die cuts and there is these, what are those called? Photo corners that are included in the die cuts that are um, a white cream and they've got like a stripe of gold. And I thought I had four of them, but I think one must have, you know, got lost somewhere in the mess of my desk right now. And so I just put two down to kind of bring, focus the page on the center. That green was very bold at the outside and I found that that kind of made it draw the tension inside and then included as well in my my kit for December is the and I've just got the package in here is the pink paisley these are the together for Christmas and it's the embellishments so it includes gold sequins little silver and white star sequins sort of things and then some vellum or acetate I guess it would be acetate with kind of gold on their snowflakes and so I've just gone through and you can see I'm just shaking out the gold sequins from that package and there's so many so I think I, I'm used like 0.01 percent of the sequins there are so many and I just kind of spattered those around so they were kind of coming out of all the major features of the page um, the cut file as well as the die cuts just to give it a little bit of I don't know that kind of sparkly touch for the holidays if you will and then from my own stash this was not in my kit but we do love shimmers paints I have to tell you so I have a few is I've got the um the minor minor 49er which is a gold um shimmers and I've just off camera I've gone I've added water and I'm just using a small cheapy little paintbrush honestly from like Walmart or Target and I've just kind of poking little bits down. I splattered a little and then I purposely um, put some gold little dots down to sort of augment the, the sequence as well. So here are some stills of the final product. I love, love, love how this turns out. I absolutely love that it's so, so bold. It's got those touches of gold for Christmas and that I got a chance to use this free cut file. And again, I will put a link to the free cut file that's available on our blog down below, as well as a link to the wild hair kits if you're interested in um, trying your own hand curated kit from us. Have a wonderful December and thanks for watching.